All right, here we are at 1126 Edwards Lane, Orlando, Florida, 32804. As you can tell, it's pouring, so I can't really get a picture of the front of the house, but you did see, you know, obviously online. Here's your kind of neighborhood. This is really close to that other house we saw, the really modern one with uh, marble everywhere. It's actually the street behind us, but this street is much more residential. There's no condo or anything like that on this side. So and again, I just came from Ivanhoe, um, meeting with another client down there. So very quick to get over here. This home was built in 2016. So it's got some really nice character on the front side. You've got this nice covered porch where I'm not getting poured on and this really nice front door presence. So let's go ahead and walk in. So right when you walk in, uh, you can tell obviously with a 2016 build, it's very quiet, very open. You've got your staircase here to your left. This really nice wood flooring on the whole first level. You walk over here to your right, which they're obviously using as a kid's kind of playroom, but could easily be used as an office. We'll see if they're counting this as a bedroom. It does have a closet. You do have a uh, slide, excuse me, a um, pocket door right here as well with the two French doors. We'll come in this way, right off the front. You turn to the right. Here is your half bath, really nice crown molding, nice light tones. And obviously you're right over to the left is the garage and storage underneath. We'll do that last. So here's your living room, crown molding throughout the home. You got the recessed lighting, very open. You have three sets of French doors that go out to a very large porch. Really nice shaker style cabinets with plenty of light with windows all throughout. You got a nice little wine fridge right here. Almost like a butler's pantry, more or less, for wine stores, drinks, things like that. Nice quartz countertops. There's your kitchen sink gas you have two ovens stainless steel appliances and you also have a prep sink right here as you look out over the living space so that brand new build is actually right there straight through there to the left so the home let me walk out the porch i'm going to assume this door's open so this is your exterior porch there is the brand new build video that I showed you right here. And you can see here is your property line that goes straight back. So you could put a fence right there. Nice little seating area out here. LED lights. Looks like it's plumbed for an exterior kitchen right here. And that's obviously where they have their grill. Flip around here. But before we go this way, I'm gonna go back over here into the kitchen. Again, plenty of space. Nice wood, heavy cabinets, shaker cabinets. These are not the cheap ones. Come through here. You've got your laundry room. With really good storage above it. And a folding table. You got storage cabinets here to your left. And this should be your pantry right here, yeah. Really nice oversized Costco style pantry. Again, that takes you in to that office slash first bedroom. We'll walk back around here. So this whole area, as I'll back up real quick, right when you walk through this door, basically is your master suite side of the house. So you walk in to your left, is a huge 
walk-in closet. With plenty of space, super nice high doors, which is great. You come into the master bedroom. Really high ceilings, a lot of really good space. You got two French doors to the outside. They obviously have an exterior couch out there. But again, lots of pieces of furniture in here and this room feels completely big enough. You could put even more in here if you wanted to. Walk into the master bathroom. Huge space. His and her sinks, garden tub with plantation shutters. You've got a large glass frameless shower. And then a pocket door for your toilet. And then your linen closet. Looks like they're using for laundry as well. Really good large space. Walk back upstairs towards the stairs. There's your front door, half bath, bedroom one slash office. Again, more storage underneath. I'm gonna go out to the two car garage. There's your HVAC system up in the roof. So it doesn't take up any space here in the garage. We're gonna walk up these stairs. Nice wood vinyl all the way up. Excuse me, wood, not vinyl. Crown molding continues. Again, two large windows overlooking this atrium, giving really nice presence and space and light. Bedroom number three. And nice high ceilings, very large closets, which is great. <laughs> All the kids' movies. Here's your hall bathroom. So they are not counting that office as a bedroom, by the way, which is great. This is a four bed with that office bonus space downstairs. Your HVAC closet. So they do have two units, one for the upstairs, one for the downstairs. Here's bedroom three. Really nice size closet again. Really nice neutral tones throughout the house. And here is bedroom number four with an attached full bath, which is great. So this is a good guest room. People coming from out of town. I got another storage. So I walk 
feet back down. So starting from the back, bedroom number four, bedroom number three, hallway bath. So this hallway bath right here, theoretically is only servicing this bedroom and that bedroom because right over here to our left is a full ensuite bathroom. Back outside, down the stairs. You've got your office there, which technically, if you probably put a door on this instead of seeing through, you could potentially count that as a fifth bedroom. But in my opinion, they did it the right way. It's a four bedroom with an office slash bonus space. Your two car garage, storage, that office space, the half bath. You've got your full huge kitchen open all the way to the backyard into your living space and your master's back there.